Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariana and today I'm going to show you how to quickly make ruled paper or grid paper or even dotted paper on Word. The version of Word I'm using is 2010, but I think you can do this in pretty much any Word you have. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. First off, I'm just going to write any letter. I'm going to start with ruled paper. And then I'm going to select my letter and I'm going to go over here and press underline. And then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and use tab and continue using tab in order to create lines. So these are going to be our lines for the ruled paper. As you can see, the lines begin and end at an awkward space, I would say. Usually your lines are a little bit longer than that, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that in a second. So after you have done a couple of tabs in order to make those lines, you're gonna go ahead and just delete that first letter, and then you're gonna select everything and just press Ctrl C to copy, and then you can press Ctrl V to paste. Or you can simply select everything and with the right button of the mouse you can copy and then clicking here on the bottom you can just paste. And you can fix this awkward space just by deleting it. Okay, so now that we have pretty much all the lines we need, we can fix the margins. So we go, we can go here on page layout and we can go into margins and we can select narrow, for example. With narrow, we have a more natural looking ruled paper, but it all depends on how large you want your paper to be. You, you can also do custom margins, so you can choose not to have margins at all. So for example, if I don't want margins, I'm just gonna go ahead and put zeros over here. And there you go, no margins. And this is gonna be your lined paper. Of course, you can finish off by copying and pasting again and then just pressing tab to finish everything. And there you go, you have your lined paper. If you want to do this in a specific region, because you want to print a page that is not a normal size, you can go ahead and just create a shape, a text box, create your text box. And then, for example, let's say your page has 23 centimeters of height and then 17 centimeters of uh, width. So there you go, we have our page here and this is going to help you cut your page down if you ever need to. For example, if you have a small binder or something like that. And then you can change the margin of this box over here and you can do the same process of just writing one letter and then underlining and just pressing tab in order to fill all the paper. Now, if you think that the lines are too close together, you can just increase the size of the letters in order to make it bigger. But at the same time, you'll increase the size of the line. Now, if you're doing this for a binder, you might want to, for example, mark where the holes are gonna be. So if you want to mark holes on your page, you can insert a oval shape right here. And then we're gonna put the shape outline as black, for example, and we're gonna remove any kind of fill. And now we're going to just decrease the weight of the line so it's a little bit thinner. There you go. And now, for example, for a normal hole puncher, we can use 0.5 centimeters and here as well, 0.5. So you have a circle. And now to position perfectly the, the hole, you have to go here into position, more layout options. And then you can use absolute position to the right of the page. Always do to the right or to below the page because the page is not going to change. And then you can position it however you like. For example, I want my hole to be 0.25 centimeters uh, to the right and 1.4 centimeters um, below the top of the page. And then we press OK. And there you go, it just moved. And we can just copy and paste another hole and do the exact same process in order to position it. And for example, if I put here four, 
there you go we have our holes so just repeat that same process if you want to make the holes for your page anyway let's delete all of that and let's move on to the dotted paper again i'm gonna just fix the margins and put uh, narrow no actually yeah narrow margins now for the dotted paper what you want to do is just um, stop underlining and then just create lots of dots just write normal dots like you usually would and now i'm going to select all of them come here onto the options of font and then press on this little arrow and this window will appear and go into advanced and here on spacing just choose expanded and then you can choose how far apart you want your dots to be so i'm going to choose 10 for example and press ok so now my dots are all spaced i can press the right bu button and ignore sentence in order for this green line to disappear and you can see we have our dots for our dotted paper i'm just going to go ahead and decrease one by one the size of the letter this way it's going to be 10 by 10 and then after you can just add more dots in order to fill all your page you can also just copy everything and then ctrl c and ctrl v to copy and paste and again if you have those weird lines where there is no dot you can just delete here and it's going to delete the space between the groups of dots and this green thing is very annoying so if you want to get get rid of that just click the ignore sentence option and it, it and it should work if you want your dots to be a little bit lighter you can come here into the options and instead of using automatic you can use one of those grays for example if you want color dots you can do that as well i'm just gonna go ahead and put a lighter gray i prefer lighter grids and also lighter uh, lines and light and lighter dots as well for my pages so there we have it and if you guys want to do a binder paper that is smaller it's the same principle as we did with the lined paper now to finish off this video i'm going to show you how to make grid paper or graph paper however you like to call it so for that it's very simple maybe your computer will get a little bit slow but that's okay we come here into insert and we go ahead and insert a table so i'm going to insert the largest table available which is 10 by 8 and then here on table tools i'm going to go into layout and i'm going to choose the height and the width of the cells so this one will be 0.5 centimeters and this one will also be 0.5 centimeters oh Oh yeah you have to select everything before you do that so 0.5 and 0.5 there you go so now we have a very nice looking grid but we have to fill all of your of our paper so select all of the table and and press insert below in order to insert more cells into your page now we're gonna select everything again just to make things easier and quicker and then we're going to insert right here and this is probably going to make your computer run much slower but that's expected because we have so many cells just be gentle with your computer and have patience so now i'm just going to finish this over here there you go we have a we have our grid paper and for those of you who think this is too dark i agree with you so we can go ahead and select the whole table and we go into design we press with the right button on top of this and then we go into modify table style and here we can choose the color of our grid i think i'm gonna go with a light gray like i said before i prefer light gray and here you can see how it's gonna look so this looks fine to me so just press ok and there you go we have a much lighter grid and i think that's gonna work perfectly now just make sure if you are printing onto your page you have two pages so if you want to just go ahead and insert a blank page so now we have two pages here oh actually i already had one page okay so we have three pages here but you only need two and after you're done with the first page you can simply select the whole table and copy it onto the next page 
there you go so now we have oh okay there you go so now we have two pages with grid and we can just simply print it and we have grid paper on both sides of the page so that's it this was it for this video i hope it was helpful and i hope you guys understood everything if you have any questions feel free to leave here in the comments and i'll try to answer them otherwise don't forget to leave your like and also subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in the next video bye bye